Magnification can be used for things such as soldering, finding damaged traces, locating cold solar joints or identifying failed components. A magnifier lamp, a digital microscope or an optical stereo microscope can be used for this work. In this video I will discuss the difference between these tools and which one is best in which situation. For practical work, like component placement and soldering, a minimum magnification of 2.5 and a maximum magnification of 20 is enough. If you go above this magnification, practical work becomes almost impossible to do. Magnifications above 20 are for inspection of extremely small things, such as an opened IC. Magnifier lamps often have a magnification of 1.75 or 2.25. This is often enough for simple inspection work, reading small prints on components or simple soldering work. Digital microscopes can easily have a magnification that can go up to a 100 to 500 or even above. This is way more than you need and part of this magnification is often a digital zoom. A digital microscope is a better option than a magnifier lamp if you are planning on doing more inspection work because of its greater magnification. Stereo microscopes often have a magnification of around 7 up to 45. This is less than a digital microscope but actually more than enough for both practical work and inspection. Being able to see depth helps with placing small SMD components on a PCB, as well as soldering. Moving things around while looking at a two-dimensional image can be difficult and slow. The image you see through the magnifier is three-dimensional, which makes it easy to solder. The image that can be seen on the screen of this digital microscope is two-dimensional. Not being able to see depth makes moving things around difficult. A stereo microscope lets you see a three-dimensional image. There are two eyepieces, each having its own optical path. This means that you are able to see depth, which makes it significantly better for practical work such as component placement and soldering. You want enough horizontal working distance under your microscope for larger objects and to move your work around. This is why you should take the size of your objects you will be working on into account when getting something like a microscope. The vertical working distance needs to be large enough for maneuvering a soldering iron and other tools if you are planning on doing practical work. A magnifier lamp comes with an arm which you can attach to your desk. It does not take up any horizontal space on your desk allowing you to work with larger objects. It also allows you to only move the magnifier lamp or only your work around. The vertical working distance is not great but sufficient if you'll be doing some simple practical work occasionally. A digital microscope requires you to move around your work instead of your microscope. The stand of the microscope is sometimes positioned close to the camera for some smaller types of microscopes, making it difficult to place larger objects under the camera. The vertical working distance can go up to 29 centimeters for this microscope, but could be less than half of this depending on the type. A stereo microscope has significantly more horizontal space under the microscope than a digital microscope because of its arm. The working distance of this microscope is around 10 centimeters. An adapter can be used to decrease the magnification by half, but increase the vertical working distance to 17 centimeters. Attaching a light ring will lower this to 15 centimeters. Digital microscopes are often the easiest if you want to record videos or images. They often have a HDMI output and the option to store photos and videos on an SD card. Stereo microscopes often need a separate adapter and camera. However, when installed, they can do the same thing as a digital microscope, such as storing photos and videos and connecting an external display. If you're planning on working with magnification for longer periods of time, you want something that is ergonomic. Since it is often not possible to keep your work at eye level, you will have to move the lamp close to your desk, forcing you to bend forward. This is not ergonomic. If you do this, try to keep your back straight. However, for some simple inspection work, it is possible to keep the lamp at eye level and hold your work behind it, which is better ergonomically. Because of the image which can be seen on a screen, you do not have to bend forward, which makes using a digital microscope more ergonomic than a magnifier lamp. Stereo microscopes do require you to bend forward to look into the eyepieces. This is not the best position ergonomically, so also try to keep your back straight with a stereo microscope. Magnifier lamps are a good option if you are occasionally doing simple inspection work or practical work such as soldering and component placement. The magnification is large enough for finding cold solder joints, damaged traces or other simple inspection work. If you occasionally need to place and solder large SMD components, a magnification lamp will also get the job done. Besides this, a magnifier lamp is also great to have because it can be used as a desk light. However, a magnifier lamp does need a stable base for attachment and it does not have good ergonomics. 
If you're doing more serious inspection work, a digital microscope will be better since it offers a higher magnification. Also, if you're mostly doing inspection work for longer periods of time, you might find it more convenient and ergonomic to look at a monitor instead through eyepieces of a stereo microscope. A digital microscope is often also easier to store than a stereo microscope. However, the two-dimensional image makes it difficult for practical work since there is no depth perception. If you're planning on doing lots of component placement and soldering, a stereo microscope with depth perception will be the best. They do take up significantly more space and you might need to get used to looking through the eyepieces. Also, additional accessories such as different eyepieces, light rings, adapters and cameras for recording come separate. However, stereo microscopes have a larger workspace and the three-dimensional image will make practical work but also inspection faster and easier to do. For professional work, I do recommend a stereo microscope. I hope that this will help you decide which tool for magnification is best for you and your projects. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and if you have any further questions, please let me know.